So the Youngstown Fire Department could be allowed to charge when the fire trucks turn on the sirens. But the fire chief says it's not meant to be some new money grab. As 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, it would help ensure firefighters and equipment are ready when that true emergency call comes in. Over the last 12 months, Youngstown firefighters answered 66 calls to help workers with private ambulance companies, most of them for non-emergencies. They need to provide their own resources first. Uh, they can't just depend on us to come do that for them when they're the ones charging and receiving the funds for it. This week, providing city council members agree, the fire department could begin charging to handle certain specialty calls. The chief says his staff started looking over records earlier this year and realized firefighters handled nearly 90 runs for downed wires last year, almost 40 where utility companies took more than an hour to respond. What became uh, problematic is seeing some of our equipment tied up for two and three and four and seven hours. O'Neill says he realized legislation was needed when he discovered the city had nothing on the books establishing fees for handling hazmat calls, something other communities already have and is required by law. It's actually expected uh, to happen. Uh, Mahoney County Fire Chiefs have been very proactive in getting legislation passed. Attorney Chip Comstock is the fire chief in Poland and also advises other area departments tells me while few others charge for service locally, he admits the problems are everywhere. What we typically struggle with is, you know, what are the emergencies and, and many times fire departments have to prioritize those calls. While O'Neill is hopeful council will pass the legislation Wednesday, he stresses there are no plans to charge for emergency calls like house fires and car accidents. That is what we do and that's what taxpayers are paying for. The chief hopes the measure will ensure his people can answer the call when they're needed. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.